In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to use WP Smush for image compression. This is an update tutorial for a tutorial I did a year or two ago. Anyway, the plugin's changed a bit, and this is an update, but I'm going to show you to compress the images on your site using this great plugin, which is great for SEO because your page loads faster and the images are a smaller size without losing quality. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress, you like tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, start now by clicking subscribe and then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video right here is part of a plugin playlist, the top plugins for 2018. Each plugin that I highlight in the top plugins has a complete walkthrough. It's linked to in the description down below the whole playlist. And I encourage you to check those out because those are powerful plugins. And I'm willing to bet you're probably going to use at least two or three of them if you're not using them already. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and check out this tutorial. To install WP Smush and start compressing images, we first have to install it. So we go to plugins and then add new. Then we search for WP Smush. What we want is this first one right here. 1 million active installs, over 1 million, 5 out of 5 stars on 3,600 reviews. That's a great review rating. Compatible with the latest version, updated four weeks ago. Everything looks good. But even so, it's always safe to back up your database and your site files before you install any new plugins. I've got a tutorial linked up above using Updraft Plus where you can schedule these updates and not have to worry too much about installing new plugins because you already have scheduled backups that Presumably, you already have a backup before you even start installing plugins. Anyway, when you're ready, click on Install Now, then click on Activate. Now we're presented with a quick setup for WP Smush. And let's see how quick, quick it is. It's very quick, only three options. So you can choose to automatically smush or compress images on upload, which is one I always use, always have that on. You can choose to preserve your existing XIF data, which is data that the camera puts onto an image, depending on what kind of camera you have. Unless you are a photographer and you need that, that information, you probably don't need it. That's why by default this is off. Most websites would not need this. If you don't know what EXIF data is, I can almost guarantee you don't need it. So keep that off. That allows less information to be saved on the image, making the image smaller. You can choose to resize the full size images. What that means is if you upload a very big image, it's automatically shrunk down to a size that you specify. If you turn this on, you can specify the height and the width of that full size image you uploaded and the original full size image is then gone. Whereas normally when you upload, WordPress preserves the full size and then it will make different smaller sizes of that image to put in different places like the blog roll. When you have a thumbnail that appears, it'll have a thumbnail image of the full size. It doesn't present the full size image in that thumbnail because that would increase load times. WordPress actually creates a smaller image of that. Either way, WordPress normally keeps the full size image here you can choose not to if you don't want to. I'm going to keep these settings at default and click on Get Started. Now that we have those settings set, every image we upload is going to be automatically compressed, which is awesome. You will then be shown in a message here how many images you have on your site that are not yet compressed. In my case, I have 56. If I click on Box Mush, I can compress 50 of them with each click. If you want to compress all of your images with one click, you get the pro version. The pro version also compresses a little bit more. It says here two times better compression for the pro version. I have used the pro version in the past. It's great, but it's also unnecessary. The, the free version compresses really well, so you don't really need the pro one. You get it if you like, but you don't really need it. If you have a million images, clicking for every 50 is going to be a real pain. But most sites have so few images that you could have your four-year-old do this. Just keep clicking this button until we've compressed all the images. We're going to do that in just a minute. If we scroll down a bit, we see those settings we had a moment ago. The automatic smush on upload. We can choose which images and which post type images to compress. In this case, we choose all of them. And you should choose all of them. Here you can turn EXIF on again. Remove full size on again. Or resize full size on again. You can choose a directory to compress. So for example, some sites have an IMG directory and that's where they upload their images instead of using media uploads. You can choose that directory by clicking here and then you choose the directory and then you can compress all the images within that directory. 
There's advanced settings for the pro version down here, super smush, that's that 2x extra smushing that I talked about. And there's a bunch of other settings that are nice, but they're not really necessary. What's really necessary is just doing some kind of compression, which the free plugin does. And WP Dev, they have a lot of these little superhero icons for each of the different plugins. It's a very useful plugin set, but it is fairly expensive. I think it's like $50 a month for those plugins. Whereas you were able to get the same functionality using various free plugins. So it's not really necessary. I'm gonna click on box mush to start compressing these 50 images or we'll see how long it takes. And once this is done, we're gonna have some statistics over here. And then we can also recheck images at any point to recheck them and see if there are more images to compress. So I'm just gonna fast forward this video until the compression is done and then I'll start talking again. Compression is complete. We see some stats or some information all over the page actually, we're gonna go over all of it. The first thing you'll probably notice is this says 434 images smushed instead of the 50 that I said was the limit. Well, there's a bit of um, conflict in terms here. When you upload one image to WordPress, WordPress makes a bunch of different copies in smaller formats, like I said earlier, and all of those count as that one initial upload. So they call that one first upload the attachment, that's the original image, and then all of the images created from that will also be compressed because they are considered part of that one attachment. And that's why we have 45 attachments, less than our 50 target, and 434 images smushed. And this means that there are about 10 images per image uploaded. So WordPress makes nine more for each one approximately. And our total savings are just over half a megabyte, 3.7%. It says here with Pro, we could save over double that of course, I want to sell you the pro version. So if you want more than double the savings, go for it. If you want to use something like Photoshop to compress your images beforehand and not need this plugin, click the card above. Got a tutorial for that for you there. And over here, it says that there's more stuff in pro because again, they're trying to sell you the pro. And something it didn't say for the limit or for limitations on the free plugin is that one megabyte or larger images will be skipped. In this case, we had one that was one megabyte over one megabyte and it was skipped. And so that one will, will not be compressed with the free version. Now we can go ahead and recheck images. Now we have a message up here saying you have images that still need smushing, bulk smush now. You can click on that to continue smushing the other images. I'm gonna do that right after I stop this video because that is the end of the video. Now we have smushed images. Actually, there's one more thing I wanna show you. If we head into the media library really quick and look at one of these images, and uh, I don't know why it says it here, thanks for upgrading, because it didn't upgrade. Anyhow, um, let's find an image. Hopefully we find one right off the bat that's been smushed. So here, this one image has 11 images because of the resizing, and they have been smushed down to 3.9%. Had they not been smushed, we would have a link here, this is just more information about those images and how much each individual one was compressed, but had this one not been smushed yet, there'd be a button that will be asking you to smush it. Let's see if I can find one that hasn't been, hasn't been compressed. So this one right here hasn't been compressed yet. It's within the one megabyte file size limit. You can click on smush now to compress it. And now it's gonna be smushing this image and it should be really quick compared to the longer time it took to com compress uh, 434 images. This should be a lot faster, it's done already. This is eight images. Reduce the size by 3.4%, which is better than nothing, right? The pro version says it'll do double. So if you need double, go for it. If you got a lot of images, it might be worthwhile. But for most sites, the free version is more than good enough. And you can go in and manually smush these. You can smush them using the, the box smusher that we we're using just a minute ago. To find the box smusher, you can go to media and then WP smush. And also we have it set to automatically smush everything we upload. So in the future, it'll be totally hands-off. The compression will just happen as we upload things, which makes life a lot easier. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the playlist of top plugins for 2018 in the description down below, maybe the card up above too. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.